Congratulations on Geostorm, Mr. Gerard. Thank you. Thank um, you. What got you interested in making the film? And many different reasons. I read the script and I thought, wow, this is epic. And it has so many different things going on. It's a, it's a huge action movie. And I knew making this with Warner Brothers, we were going to have pretty incredible special effects. It was also this really interesting conspiracy theory. I loved the science and the whole idea of what would the science look like if we ever had to save mankind against our environment. And then there was also a very intimate story in there, you know, between uh, two brothers, a Cain and Abel story, and a father and a daughter, which I found so touching and, and beautiful, and a man that has to learn to grow up, basically, yeah. whilst trying to save the yeah, world yeah. up on a space station. Right, right. It's almost like a coming-of-age story on your part, the character's yes. part, right? Yeah, no, it is. I mean, that's, you know, there, there's, there's a huge amount of competition between my brother, who's a politician, and I end up having to work with him at, at NASA, uh, he's on gr he's on the ground and I'm in a space and we don't know how to work together, man. Right? We're so competitive. Right. There's so much resentment. There's so much pain, um, and and that's it's about both of us getting over ourselves. This whole movie is about people getting over themselves, including in a higher level, the government's getting over right. their self interest, You're right. and everybody trying to think of a on a higher level, from a soul level, really. You're right. What I like about the film, and you touched up on them, I touch upon them, is that it's almost like a multi-genre movie, right? It's yeah. not just a disaster flick. It's also a mystery action with a little political thriller. Yes. Right? I'm going to steal that. Oh, very good. It's a multi-genre movie. Multi-genre movie. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Gonna hear me Five in it's a multi-genre <laughs> movie. Like... Um, and you yeah. know what? Do I also love the, the the hearts, the feels of the film? Your I love that the actress who played your daughter, by the way. Oh, she's amazing. She wiped the floor with me, and I loved it. I mean, I was like, this girl is incredible. And and you know, by the end of that scene, I literally was like, I really am leaving her. And she's my best friend, Aww. and I'm, and she's breaking her heart, <laughs> and and I really haven't listened to her, you know, and I want her to feel it was, and that was her, that was her. Well, also great writing, but the whole thing, the location that we were at, and you're, you know, what's in, the, or imagine these space shuttles get yeah. up into this, yeah, 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 yeah. to the space station. I'm about to go up there. The excitement of the journey, and then forgetting for a second. That people matter, people care, and yeah. you're affecting people's lives. And she was so fantastic. Oh. A good sci-fi film has this big giant what-if factor with yeah. it, right? And this one is that what-if factor. Do you think something like Geostorm or the, the basis of, for it will happen later on? Um, <laughs> do I, or do I think it's happening? <laughs> That's I mean, true. It's, it's, it's uncanny a, a little bit, you know, and this was written a few years ago and filmed a couple of years ago, but it is uncanny how it mirrors some things that are happening today. Um, you know, whether it's the storms or even the fires going on. I mean, right. the whole thing was everything. It's right. it's droughts, it's it's heat waves, it's right. fires, it's yeah. floods, it's storms. Yeah. And it, it does feel um, a, a little bit like Armageddon the, yeah. this last couple of months. Yeah. And um, so without a doubt, it's a it's a cautionary tale. And I think that it hits home that way. But, but then again, these movies are escapism, they're fiction. And what I love is that you can enter into those worlds and you always come out with a positive message, which is at the end of the day, whatever they throw at us or we throw at ourselves, we'll come together to defeat it. And that might be coming, coming together in yourself. It might be right. getting over some of those challenges you have in yourself or coming together as a group or as nations to um to defeat those those challenges. Yeah. Love Mother Earth. Yes. <laughs> right? It really is, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Lee.